In this video, I will show you how to morph between shapes in Blender. The area of interest here is the shape keys in the object data properties. Here we can morph any mesh between multiple shapes. For example, with this cube, we can select it and hit the plus icon in the shape keys area two times. This way we add a base shape and a start key, or key one. Under this key, you will find many options to help you change the shape from one state to another. So with this first key selected, we can enter edit mode for this cube and modify it with any operation we want. I will do some insets and extrudes along all faces. Then once you're done, hit tab to exit edit mode. After that, with the value slider, we can change the shape from the basis, which is the simple cube, to the key one shape which is the result of what we did with the inset and extrude. Another example in using shape keys is with more than one mesh. So let's say we have a donut, two of them, and we want to change the appearance of them by deleting a number of faces and scaling the edges on different levels on each of them. The one on the left will have big holes and I will scale the ones on the right to make them look closed. We did that on both of the shapes to keep the same vertices number because you need to match that for this to work. Now that we're done, we can select them both by holding shift and use the arrow icon in the shape keys area to join the shapes. This method can be used in making facade covering and many other things. You can have more control on those opening with the use of weight paint. So with the base mesh selected, we can go into the weight paint mode and draw some colors on it. I won't go much into details, however long story short, the red colors represent full effect, and blue is the minimum. This will generate a vertex group above the shape keys area, and we can use this group to focus the effect of the shape key once we assign it in the vertex group field. Another example in morphing is between a shape and a pre-made model. With that, we use the shrink wrapping method, and it goes like this. Let's say we have this piece of furniture, and we want to morph it with a cube. We can add one and scale it to be a bit smaller than the model. Then, we can select this cabinet piece, add to it a shrink wrap modifier. With this, we can target the wrap on the cube. Hide the cube to fix the shrink wrapping, and we do that mainly by changing the wrapping method, depending on the shape. Usually the first and third methods works the most, but also the project type can help in some cases. Once you're done, apply the modifier as a shape key. With this, we can go to the shape keys in the object properties and animate the value slider to get a simple animation of shape morphing. Same thing if we have the monkey head with a sphere, we can select the monkey, then shrink wrap it into a simple mesh, then apply the modifier as shape keys. Keep in mind that some meshes or shapes don't go together in this method and might need to spend some time to fix them, and even then you can end up with artifacts along the mesh. You can also do most the thing we did here in geometry nodes, but that for another time. And that's it for today. Like and share if you care, and see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.